So I'm doing a few things here today. Got the, uh, my old Piranha Burn 3 and a newer, well, it's about the same age, but it hasn't been ridden as much. I'm going to switch over to the yellow. And we're going to be doing some repair work on them. I noticed that I have a piece that fell out of there that I need to re-glue, so I'll show that, clean that up and show that. And then we're going to size this out for me, so I'll show you what I like to do. A few years ago I built these knee, knee pads. and. They're probably the best thing that I've ever done for this boat. So I'm going to glue new ones into here as well. But yeah, tune up. Boat tune up. To switch over. We're retiring blue. It's been. Oh, geez. Eight years? Yep, eight years. But the reason why I got. A weld that I always weld and another one that cracked as well and she's a little bowed out you can even see it so I'm gonna retire it make it a scraper boat and spare boat for anybody who wants to come out the new, the new driver will be here. There's this piece of foam that goes up into the nose of the bow. We'll just re-glue it. Looks like they glued this one, but I never, never used this boat. This one is actually loose too, so I'll be tucking that one back up in there as well. That one is not glued, so. So if for some reason you need, if like the nose foam or your, you know, the bow foam or the tail foam or whatever you need, this is called mini cell foam. It comes in, I think this is three inch block, but you can buy it on the internet and then you carve it to whatever you need. So for that nose piece, if I had it, if it was broken, I could go ahead and just kind of line it up and carve out a new one. This stuff's also really good to, to use to build up seats and uh, all other kinds of stuff, so. I'm gonna end up ripping this middle pillar out to reach that back in there. Just can't quite stuff that back in there. So I'm gonna rip some stuff out. So I got super plastic cleaner, contact cement, some cardboard, a rag. Contact cement's what we hold, use to glue uh, foam to plastic. It holds up pretty well. I'm gonna spray this on the area where I'm gluing. Not, not the whole boat. We'll use that again to when we glue our knee pads in. Okay, I'm going to attempt to glue it. I'm going to glue it with this, put it on here. And I'm going to try to force it in, probably push it with this broom to get it the rest of the way in there. Cardboard is what I used to apply that stuff with because it sticks to everything. Can't screw this part up.
fun part. So unbelievably hard. Okay, a little more. Um, Good. You got it glued back in there. Pretty good. So seat position is kind of the first thing that we do. Um, it can either slide up, slide back. I like it right in the middle. Well, actually, I like it a little bit pushed towards the forward a little bit. So on the seat. You'll see these screws right here. You unloosen them. And then the seat itself on both sides. Boom. And that one, the seat itself will then slide forward or backward. I have this one already gauged to where I like it, but that's where you would do that. So Piranha Burn 3s, they came, the original version came with the older seat model, which didn't have a, a power block in it. So I, Stuff some foam up there, but nothing too crazy, nothing too aggressive. I did build the knee pads in this one. Um, I did install the IR backband on this as well. I may trade that out. I'm going to paddle with, with a stock Piranha tomorrow, see how it feels. Because then this Piranha Burn 3, it came with the Connect, the newer seat, the newer style of the seat. So I'm excited to actually really try that out. See, it's contoured a little different in the legs. You have this. It kind of brings it up. And also, it has this power block in it now. And I am I have the medium one in there. So, what, that, what those are, are angled to put on the bottom of your seats. They come in three sizes. The lowest angle, right? Lowest angle, Hi, the highest angle, I believe. I got the I got the medium one there. So it's bringing up the seat on a nice angle. Should be good to go. And this seat is positioned all the way to the front, and it has the the same the same style here. You have to loosen these. And then underneath, and we'll show that in a video a different day, then you loosen that stuff up and you can just slide it. In fact, this seat's a lot easier to slide than the older one. You, you take these out completely. There's a plate that sits under there. And then you can see it up there. You can slide it in, pull the, pull the screws out, slide the seat, pop them in, and then screw them back into that plate. So that's, that's a little bit different on these two models. So these new seats are a little bit different. And they give you three mounting holes on the one side and one on the other. As you can see, there's three and one for your adjustment. So however you want your seat position to be, um, I believe it depends on the size of the block that you're gonna be using under here. So I got the medium block on. Um, I'm gonna make sure that they're it's in the second holes if it was you know the higher block you just need to adjust your angle accordingly so that's what those holes are for is to line up right against these holes here and then if you need to do forward adjustments on your seating there's these two screws we would unscrew them and this just slides slides up and down forward or back. I have mine right now. Pretty much all the way, all the way slid forward. But this is how you would adjust that piece there. Let's see if we can get that.
So we're gonna be putting the seat back in. We got the the medium the medium block on the seat. That just gets secured with those bungees. So pretty easy to swap out, pretty easy to swap on another one if we want to, but I'm gonna go with the medium. So as you can see this that piece is behind the seat piece and then you can line up the holes accordingly. It looks like it's pretty much set here. So always use stainless steel if you don't have any. Um, this is a plastic nut with some stainless with a stainless steel screw, so we're just gonna put them back in. And then the seat's gonna be ready to go. So you adjust your adjust this first. And then put your seat block on and screw it back in. Okay, now that that's back in place and you're all adjusted, you can also adjust your thigh, your thigh grips as well. So these, as you can see right here, that's it's secured with with two bolts. This one here. So if you loosen this with that metal thing, it can slide. I have mine slid all the way back, but if you need a little bit more room to slide your legs, you loosen this one. And you loosen that one, it's right under the cockpit, right here. It has the same kind of same kind of nut on it that will then allow you to just, just loosen it. It'll allow you to push it forward or push it backwards. But mine's already adjusted. So I like, like I said, I like my seat pretty far up on the smaller guy. So pretty far up. My thigh hook's a little bit back to really stay engaged. But these are your adjustment screws for that. That one there. And then right, right under the cockpit. The other one. So that's the same for both sides here. Put the seats in, it's back in position. So then the back band for this boat. You can swap these out. <clears throat> Immersion Research makes a really nice one. There's other ones that are out there, but I'm just gonna go with the standard right now and how this works is it's just a strap that goes through the back comes standard and you and you feed it through under here there's a little part on the seat then that strap goes through so you you feed that strap through and then your tighteners here they'll go through your D-rings first on your seat before they come up here into the thigh but you'll put them through your d-rings I guess that's all all about preference too whatever way that goes uh, I think I'm gonna feed mine from from the bottom so I got it coming up up and through and these actually broke on my other boat so I had to um, redo them so when you when that happens you just take the screw out Put a new one in and then you can kind of turn it so that it's it's you can actually turn this one a little bit too so that it's faced the right way but it's no big deal for me so just feed them that way back up into your into your ratchet system same with the other side here just make sure there's no tangles in it Through. And And then depending on how high you want this up your back is how tight you then tie tents in this thing. So that's really something that's 
kind of more all about preferences. Mine will only ever come up this high. And that's the back band. One thing these back bands do have is these nylon elastic cords that then underneath they got two holes back here. And then I have one of, one of these on it. So you can tighten this up as well. This kind of gives you a little bit of memory. You don't want it to go any further. You know, tighten them up a little bit kind of thing. So, And you can find nylon cord pretty much anywhere. Or elastic cord so these hip pads then once the seats kind of all size to where you need it to be you can size out these hip pads um, they disconnect back here just pull loosen and we'll take one out so you can see what it looks like but you just loosen these it's just a um it's just a strap tens tension strap that you pull tight there's two of them velcro is in then as well back there and you can stuff these full of foam to make your hips you just undo that and yeah and it comes with some slivers of mini cell foam but you can also just buy your own or whatever and put them in there so like in this case I like to just put that put them in here make a nice little pad build it up a little bit for my hips but it's Purely customizable, you'll want to do this to your own liking. So you're good to go. These are good to go then, ready to go back onto the seat. So when you go to put these back on, just make sure that these um, straps are, you know, the right way, they're not tangled, anything like that. And uh, it's like an L shape facing your, your feet. So when you put them in, they're gonna go in like that. So that this part up here kind of hugs your hip. So however high up you want them and all that. And then, you know, by adjusting these straps, pull them through a little bit, put them behind. And it's just your standard, you know, locking strap, but you just put it back there put it back through and then you'll reach around you know and fill for this and put it through and then tighten it up so it goes, goes around you have this in, in the hand comes around your seat and you just feed it through that little thing right there oh. You know, come up through the middle and then get right back through. And then once you have it in, what I like to do is I like to bring it around this back side here. Grab this with my other hand and just pull it tight. And it just tightens up and secures itself. So you do that with the both the top part and the bottom part. And then the next part is I'm just determining what size bulkhead I want to put in. Um, this is a smaller one, and the one that I got in there now is a bigger one. So I'm gonna that's the one I've been using for years. It has a piece of uh, foam I glued to it to give it more cushion, I guess. So I'm going to try to see if I still fit with this. If not, I may size down. I might glue another piece and put it on there, and I may size down here. So we'll see. So I like to put my 
shoes on and then and then fit my kayak so like whatever you're wearing and I might even try to put my dry pants on as well to get in there to size it out is what you really want to do whenever you're outfitting your boat so I've actually decided for my foot support my bulkhead um, I'm gonna size down I think uh, so this is a bigger one that was in my old boat this is the smaller of them and Piranha usually sends you some foot sticky back foam or whatever for it that's what that's for it actually it's for this one um, I tried this out this has a slight angle to it I thought maybe that would be cool with my feet but it didn't quite fit in there the way that I wanted it to um, so I think we're gonna size down to the small one but I just went and cleaned this off before we glue it, right? Because I am going to put some of that on it too because those tend to come off with this factory glue. So we'll put some of this on, let it wait, and we'll put that in there. So there we have that. I'm going to let that dry for about an hour. It says one and a half, two hours on that, so we'll probably give it about that. Um, we'll cut it out. And we'll put the rails back on it, and then we'll get in and size it out. So now we're going to trim this up. I'm just going to cut this all down. Next, you're going to take these apart here and you're just going to fasten them to the smaller one. Washers on both sides and always use stainless steel hardware. So now that both sides are on, ready to get in and size it up. So the next thing that we do, we put the bulkhead back in, it's in there, I'm going to size it out with my feet now, I'm going to push my feet in, okay. get it nice, figure out where I want to put it, on these screws right here, and yeah, line it up, put the wing nut on, and give it a nice little feel. I'm going to do a lock washer or this little washer on first, then the wing nut. So the washer goes on the bolt first, then the wing. Okay, now that those are in, we're going to test it out on them. If not, you know, back them out towards you or whatever. Next part of this is also going to be to pull this hull stiffener back up. So you're going to pull it up, tighten them back up, and then put them bolts back up in there. O-ring first, then the black cap, then the screw. That's how those go on. Okay, we're fitting pretty good in here. Ready to rock. I'm going to glue these pads in now. I'm going to put them up in there. And that's it. We're going gonna, gonna to let them dry. Bulkhead's in. Everything's glued back. The seat's good to go. This thing's ready to rock come tomorrow. So, be excited to bring... A new, new, a new old boat back out. So since we talked about the nose, stabilizer, piece of foam, might as well talk about the back one as well. In the Atelier boat, you have a bigger piece. This one's pretty secure in here. Um, that you can do, you know, if you have to glue this one back in or whatever, 
Uh, I just wanted you to be aware that there is a back one as well, a tailpiece that comes with it. You can probably order these foam foams from Piranha as well, or whatever boat you have. Um, but yeah, that sits in here, and you actually have it locks into this this black piece here, which is called the the hull stabilizer. Um, when you rip your seat out and you pull this down, this piece actually slides forward, and you can act, you can slide it back into, you know, the tail, um, or adjust this and all that kind of stuff. Um, when I go to weld my blue boat again, we'll do a full breakdown. Uh, but this video, I would say, pretty pretty well covered everything. So you got your seats in, you got your back band. We got our, we did our thigh brace real quick. Um, I do have th those glued, uh, good to go. The bulkhead is sized out. We went with the small one. Mm. And the, if you look way up there, that is now glued in. So I would say Piranha Burn 3 is ready to rock and roll. Maybe the last overlooked piece is this drain plug. I've lost a few. Um, so, you know, it, it, it goes in, it gets held on here, either the string might snap, you might smash this off or whatever. So, I don't know, it's wise to tie it up with something onto the back of this so that it doesn't fall off. So thanks for watching this breakdown on the uh, Piranha Burn 3. Hope to bring you more boat breakdown videos in the future. We'll have one on a Nomad and we'll have one on a Fluid Nemesis at some point. So, And a more in-depth one coming once Old Blue needs uh, welded up again. So thank you. Hope this was informational and you enjoyed it.